Well, it takes less than a foot of water to sweep away your car during a flood. As Maryland enters its summer months, Baltimore City firefighters are not only warning drivers not to drive through standing water, but they're also preparing to answer the call for help. As Devin Bartolotta reports, firefighters traveled to far western Maryland for the rare chance to train in almost the real thing. Adventure Sports Center International is one of only three facilities in the country that supports this type of training. It's a huge benefit to rescue crews and firefighters nationwide, and this time, Baltimore City. You're trapped in your car, and water is rising fast. With each passing second, your air pocket shrinks as you wait for help. Get me out of this car. All right, all right, you calm down now. I've got a PFD for you. In Western Maryland Monday, Baltimore City Fire Department search and rescue teams trained for this terrifying scenario. For us, the hazard is we can get pinned under the vehicle. It can siphon us and trap us. Um, the vehicle can be swept away with us behind it. For four hours, firefighters fought through white water, rescuing one of their own over and over again. Trainer Mike Burnup says these man-made rapids are as close as crews can get to the real experience. Typically, we don't get to do this until it's time for the real call. Uh, and that's not when you really want to be learning on the job. About half of flood-related deaths involve vehicles, killing roughly 400 people every year. Last September, a Harford County woman was swept away by floodwaters while trying to rescue another stranded driver. For those who gather to watch these drills, it's a chilling reminder of the motto, turn around, don't drown. Even though these cars are secure, they still move in this water. And it just shows that if they were not secure, they would be floating right on down that river. These swift water rescues test teamwork and technical skills. One firefighter here is the son of Francis oh, Britcher, who been. retired from Baltimore oh. Fire in 2003. If you get confidence of people you work with and you all work together, we all go home. Going home is the goal for both victims and rescuers, and these lessons will one day save lives in Baltimore. Atlantic Technical Rescue holds about four trainings here every year, and they work with rescue teams from all over the world. In McHenry, Maryland, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.